Hello, it's Dr. Kilbane, and I wanted to share a case with you of a little patient that we just saw this past week who has eczema, and he had, had such a beautiful improvement already, which was pretty quick, um, so he's still early on in the process, but I wanted to share his story with you in hopes that it might help other families. So he is the classic picture, so he's 21 months old, and he has the, the history where he had colic, reflux, eczema starting at four months of age, and if you can read this, um, he had RSV, recurrent ear infections, um, recurrent um, chronic runny nose, and had ear tubes eventually, and um, then around 16 months of age, he started to get what we call wheezing associated respiratory illness. And it's, I wanted to write these out in my beautiful handwriting just because, again, that is classic for the kids who have all of these different inflammatory issues. So before the family ever came to see me, they took him off of dairy and saw a pretty big improvement. They also took him off of gluten, but didn't see much of much of an improvement. So he remained off of dairy. They were also they're worried that eggs might be an issue, which dairy and eggs are classically two big triggers for eczema. So what we did with him is we do three things in the integrative approach when we're talking about eczema. The first thing we do is we identify and remove what we think the triggers are. So we, we look at foods, we look at environmental allergies, we look at environmental toxins. And in terms of environmental toxins, one of the things I want you to be aware of are air fresheners, things like Glade, cleaning products, um, lotions, things like that, um, laundry detergent. So some of those things can trigger, you know, can be irritants for eczema. So then the second thing that we do is we go in and, and we heal the gut. You know, we do the four R approach to gut healing. And then the third thing we do is we address the skin topically because eczema is a multifaceted issue and the skin can have, the barrier can be off, it might be very dry, it's not fully intact. And since it takes about 90 days for the full thickness of the skin to heal, we want to address that skin topically in addition to addressing the gut so that as we're healing the gut, we're also healing the skin and that when we're ready to wean off of some of the, the topicals that we use, hopefully we're not going to have that flare up. And we use in our practice topicals that we learned about through Dr. Aaron. He's a, an amazing dermatologist who's helped families all over the world. And what this topical is, it is an emollient and it has a steroid and then it has an antibiotic cream in it. But it's, it's diluted, so the steroid and the antibiotic are very dilute and we use it over many several times a day over a period of time as we're weaning off of it and it works beautifully. So with our little patient, he even though he was off of dairy, he had a flare up shortly after we saw him. So they started the probiotic within a few days parents said he had like an 80 percent improvement then he had another flare-up and so then we started the dr aaron cream and the at his last visit he was about 60 percent improved from his baseline and this is eczema that he'd had since he was four months old but we know with his history of recurrent ear infections that he has been on a lot of antibiotics. So we know that we need to re-inoculate his gut with the good healthy bacteria while we're figuring out which foods and which, you know, what other triggers, what other things are triggering his eczema. So I hope that helps. And again, it's when we use the integrative approach with eczema, we typically have a really wonderful improvement and it's not always a, a straight downhill often what happens is we start to figure out the triggers and have big improvements and then we have we get um, flare-ups so that's okay that's totally par for the course um, but he's a great example and we have some before and after pictures that the parents were gracious enough to share with us so 
I hope this helps and I hope this all makes sense. Please share this video with anyone you think might be helped by this information. And check us out, check out our website, SheilaKilbane.com, and you can sign up for our newsletters and watch, we do lots of different webinars, so you can keep an eye out for those. Thank you so much, have a great afternoon.